All right, howdy all, Phil here again, Next 72 hours, and um, this is part two of the video on the fire starters. Um, again, I'm out here, I've got my water handy. I've got a little pottle here of those fire starters made up. And I've got my old uh, Petzl climbing knife and ferro rod. You can see this one's been well and truly butchered. Um, you should be able to hear, but if I just move over here and you can see... Uh, prove me wrong, but there's a bit of wind out here today and this block is still soaked wet and cold from when I did the fire test the other day, so this is purely a test to see if these can be started with a uh, ferro rot Now bear in mind this is cold and damp so these are not supposed to be in any way waterproof at this stage or I haven't worked on that side of things um, I might give it a go, see what I can come up with but this is purely for uh, my good friend not you, not me, and just to check to see how these could be lit and whether or not they can be lit with a ferro rod. So again, bear in mind it is pretty uh, breezy out here, and I know that this will uh, upset them to no end. That I'm, I'm just going to come around the other side. That I'm using my uh, this knife on this ferro rod, but this is a dedicated uh, starting. Oh, I'm doing it the wrong way. Bit of a butcher's way of doing it but that couple of sparks there got that one going and from there now you can see a yeah, couple of pretty white hot fire there at some point okay so whew, can it be started using a ferro rod absolutely um, still a lot of heat there put those unburnt ones back on the pile and they're just igniting as well so I've got the second batch the colored one it's just um, drying up at the moment as you can see there look at that they just they just burn as well and uh, I've got the uh, waxed ones drying up as well so the next video will be a sort of combination to see if it burns or not, or what we need to do about that. And uh, um, I'm also going to try and go out and um, get a wee fire going with this as well, with a bit of damp kindling and wood and things like that. So anyway, that's for you, um, not you, not me, uh, just to show you that it can be started with a ferro rod. And I'll catch you in the uh, next video. Thanks for watching.